about this 40k discrimination? Yeah. Well, our next guest is, I guess, for lack of a better term, uh, regular here, and um, her name is Jane Elizabeth. And please let her know. Let her know.
Jane Elizabeth seems to have thinned out in here a little bit. That's something to do with you. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it's just me and not the quality of the performances, which of course is stellar, then um, then it's okay. You know. Well, I guess our next guest is probably just about ready, and um, his name. Are any of his friends here? Oh, you won't know that until I tell his name. Uh, it's Joshua. More specifically, it's Joshua, I can't read my writing, Russell. Joshua Russell. Joshua Russell. He's here, and he's raring to go. All right, Joshua, take her away.
this is one of the springtime inspirations. Source of bullshit inspiration. It's called The Little Piece Inside.
They're probably the same people who want to save the dolphins. But just ask yourself one question. If you are what you eat, then why eat a stupid gasping tuna that's too stupid to escape from a net when you can eat a smart, charismatic dolphin? <laughs> And if dolphins are so smart, then how's come the only time we ever see them is in a cage? <laughs> Ask yourself that. I'm the wrong hero. I'm the hero of Central Square. I'm not paranoid, so don't kill me. <laughs> what do you think of the wrong hero? Evil? Wrong? Right on. You can't prove that in court. I'd like to see you try it. What about the 12 steps? I'm sick of hearing about the 12 steps. Yeah. All right? I'll tell you what, though. These shoes will put 12 steps across your forehead if you ever mention them again. 12 steps, what about them? Well, unfortunately, I'm not Mr. Fantastic, or else you would look like Tom McCann's butt boy! <laughs> I'm the wrong hero, but I like to cry. Because it's the only time I ever wash my face! <laughs> You don't have to laugh. I'm not about to be executed. <laughs> I'm starting my own kiddie show on the Fox Network. It's called, Please Let Go of My Arm, Mister, You're Hurting Me Show. <laughs> A wise man once said, there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> Brilliant deduction, genius. It's all old and burned. <laughs> Somebody's gonna try to sell it at a flea market. You just watch. Hey, you give good audience. I didn't even give you two dollars. I cleaned out my ears. And my head caved in. Elvis and Einstein were in heaven. And Einstein said, I invented E equals MC squared. What did you do? And Elvis said, what do you think the E stands for? Frizzy head? Ah, uh, he chutney. Chutney tastes like Edward Gorey. Not something I'm going to give to my kids. My father, my father, my father says, money doesn't grow on trees. And I say to my father, my poor old sickly dad, I say to him, I know it doesn't grow on trees. It falls from your wallet, so hand it over, fatso, now. <laughs> I want to give my son a masculine name. I'm kicking around two possibilities. Mr. Homosexual Man or Miss Girl. A wise man once said, a fool and his money are soon parted. I say, a fool and his money ought to come over here. Now, because I am starting to melt. Want to hear a funny story? Good. What about the 12 steps? You want to hear about the 12 steps? Okay, I died, I was reborn. You fill in the other 10 yourself. I didn't even know you could count that high. If I break both of your legs, you won't be able to anymore now, will ya? I said to my girlfriend, I'm going to take you away from all this and take you somewhere even worse. Where's that? Where's that? Central Square. I hate women's apartments. Women think that anything is cute as long as it smells like fabric softener. Hitler, cute. Stalin, cute, as long as they smell like fabric softener. But men, you know what men have in their apartments? They have a big gorilla in a cage. That's symbolic. I have no friends. You're supposed to say awe. I'm glad you're in awe of me. 
I have no friends, so I hire my enemies to do my publicity. Confound you anyway, I want you to love me. Mike, where's my whip? Where's the 12 steps? You ain't got nothing till I get the 12 steps. God, the 12 steps. I can just think of 12 stupid things. Most of them are sitting right in front of me. All right, I'm sorry. You're smart. I'll tell you what. Everybody whose IQ is under 130, stand up. Anybody who doesn't know what IQ means, remain seated. I'm marketing a line of frozen foods called Last Meal. It's a real slow seller. Not that much of a demand for it. I'm the wrong hero. I combat the ugliness of the world and replace it with myself. I heard a good joke, but no, no, I really can't tell it now. I'm sorry. I guess I never should have come up here. You know, for all of my bluster, I really love you. And if you believe that, then give me five dollars right now. Because you're gullible. You're too weak and stupid to even drag yourself across town to a better club. And you're, be you're beginning to annoy me now. You are beginning to wear very thin on my patience. You are beginning to make me His name is Keith Benice. Give him a rousing applause here. Come on, encourage him. Let him know that his persistence pays off with early death. And after that, no more cafe cabaret for this week. This is called The Ordinary Guy, it's a song I wrote.
Keith Denise, thank you for your warm applause. Uh, that really was an excellent song, Keith. I'm sorry for like being such a hyper son of a bitch. Uh, okay, thanks. It's not my fault? Oh no, you weren't talking to me. I'm just so eager to hear that. <laughs> I'd just like to thank the people who are here in the two minutes which we have left. Um, Luco, Ed, Jody, Carl, and Greg, Joshua Russell, Kirk Margolis, Freddie K, Jim Infantino, Jane Elizabeth, and Last but not least, Keith Benice. Let's give him a really big round of applause. That's an excellent, excellent song. Tonight we're having a benefit for Mr. Ken Reeves, a city councilor. The admission is $10, and someone will be around to collect that money if you elect to stay. However, if you elect not to, that's OK, because it's a free country, man. But there is going to be a big buffet set out, so you know, 10 bucks isn't that much to pay, I guess. I don't know. On the other hand, if you came in here and actually ordered the food, you'd pay a lot less, but you wouldn't get the great entertainment. Meltdown, meltdown, no, it's 10 bucks, isn't it? Well, that's wrong, it's 10, okay? Anyway, um, Meltdown, Meltdown is playing as, as well as Sarah Laughs and Cauldron and a unspecified solo performer. So if you want to stick around, that's the evening's entertainment which is in store for you. My name is Francis Domeno. This ends Cafe Cabaret. Good night, everybody, and thanks for coming out. I hope to see you next week. Yeah,